Hello everyone, welcome to another video of FFL 24-7. Today's video is a continuation series uh, on a technical analysis that we have been recently doing on Bitcoin cryptocurrency coin and we have been tracking so far very nicely. So today's video is just another continuation of what we have been already tracking and uh, just a technical analysis and maybe a rough prediction where the Bitcoin is going to be heading next. So I am very excited today and the reason is obviously Bitcoin and there is another good reason because a lot of excitement has been coming back to the crypto industry all over again after a very 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 long time so from I think almost about since May last year so we are getting the same kind of level of excitement is slightly coming back to Bitcoin cryptocurrency so so today was a very, very a kind of a funny day because Black, BlackRock has been trying to get uh, their Bitcoin ETF approved uh, for spot trading on Bitcoin. So this is going to enable financial institutions to be able to invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in, in general. So this is going to be like a very a huge win for crypto industry overall. So what happened today was uh, their spot ETF uh, Bitcoin ticker uh, mysteriously disappeared from DTCC website today but uh, then after a few hours it just re reappeared for some very strange reason so oh, if you guys were tracking Bitcoin was uh, seeing a nice bounce coming back and again this news was coming in that the ticker has uh, suddenly disappeared and then maybe there's some bad news in the store and this just immediately popped like a three to four percent slump in Bitcoin price right away so that news was uh, very soon nullified and the Bitcoin ETF stock symbol reappeared on DTCC website. So that was very strange and all the drama that happened today in the crypto industry. So just to give you guys a little bit of background about BlackRock. So BlackRock is not a small company or institution. They are like huge, one of the world's largest financial institutions. So if they are trying to get a Bitcoin ETF approved, they are gonna get it approved so it's not a matter of if it is a matter of when so this is all just the games and numbers they are obviously going to be playing with the retail investors and their emotions so they are going to uh, make an announcement at the right spot when everyone has done their accumulation obviously the financial institutions and then they're gonna just let the retail run behind them so this is uh, what usually happens in every kind of bull run so what technically we have been tracking very nicely in bitcoin graph is uh, the technical and so technically what we have been tracking very nicely in, in bitcoin chart is the price action and the movement that bitcoin has been following so what we have predicted in in my last video if you were following so we started so we started doing the analysis when Bitcoin was around this 25k range area. So I wanted to make a video with you guys and we spotted out very nicely that around the 25k area, Bitcoin is forming like a very strong support and we may see a little, we may see a strong bounce uh, if we are able to uh, get uh, some volume push above. And obviously we were keeping an eye on this 30k resistance that was a major barrier for us. And as you guys can clearly see, we have comprehensively broke above it. So, and the reason is obviously the news, but uh, the news is just a distraction to just justify the price action and uh, movement of a tick ticker or Bitcoin price or whatever you want to call it. So, so news is just attraction. What we want to be paying attention is the chart and what the chart is selling us. So we, it was clear uh, for us and we were pointing it out very nicely that 30K is going to be the major resistance for Bitcoin. If we are able to break above it, then the 38k I marked pretty clearly in my last video that 38k is going to be our next stop. So we did not quite hit the 38k mark yet, but we did go to about the 35k range area. So that's that. So what we need to focus is what is the Bitcoin price going to do next? So if you guys notice at the bottom, this is the relative strength index that you guys are watching. So as of right now, since we have seen a very sharp increase in a short amount of time, so the RSI has obviously shot up and we are in the overbought area. So ideally and naturally, so this has to cool down a little bit and come down. And with that, I'm, I'm expecting the Bitcoin price to also maybe just uh, do a little bit of few sideways days or maybe see a little bit of a, a back down again. So if in case if we go back down, so another very critical level that we need to keep a watch on is 31k mark that i am seeing in the chart 
so 31k is also going to be a very critical and major level that we have supported in the past uh, quite a few times like this one two and again in three and here you see in the past four so these so this 31k mark is a very major level that bitcoin might be able to do a retest so what i am speculating that we might see a slow decline towards this 31k mark and maybe they want to do they want to calm down the excitement that has built up like all of a sudden in crypto industry and then maybe after that they will do another push so uh, and another very important thing that i want you guys to pay attention is this volume so this volume has been uh, steadily building up nicely and the price uh, did not move a lot in those areas so this now uh, justifies our assumption that uh, maybe some kind of accumulation in bitcoin was happening during this duration so and obviously once they have uh, accumulated enough bitcoins these financial institutions they, they're just gonna lift off the uh, artificial stop you whatever you want to call it and then the price just uh, goes above so as of right now uh, ver one very critical thing that we were keeping an eye on was the 30k level and we have broken above this level very comprehensively so this has validated one of our uh, bull run uh, case scenario so still we are not going to be doing a pump and dump kind of scenario scenario here so what we are going to do is a pure technical analysis and what is going to happen next so naturally what i am thinking bitcoin price is going to maybe cool down a little bit but if we see a more sideways action for a few days like we see in this case here so we are going to form a very uh, solid uh, bullish flag pattern if that happens so that also coincides with rsi cooling down the news uh, coming to finalize and christmas coming along so this is all lining up again very nicely for end of the year rally again so this is just speculation but uh, apparently that is what it looks like they are maybe going to try to achieve so another critical level that we need to be keeping an eye on is obviously 38k level is uh, the next major barrier that we need to cross and if we are able to cross this then my next target is going to be 44k mark why 44k mark one one reason is this is uh, one of the very critical and major fibonacci level point uh, 0.382 that we are going to be seeing and another very critical reasons i am seeing uh, uh, 44k mark to be our next target after 38k is if we zoom out a little bit and move to the weekly chart uh, so i hope you guys can see we are kind of forming a very nice uh, cup and cup and handle bullish pattern so if this pattern uh, executes successfully this puts us to right at about around the 44k area mark so this is what uh, i am uh, uh, tracking for Bitcoin is going to do next if we are able to break the 38k level so that's the bullish case scenario what is going to happen if uh, we don't break above right away so what as of now what I am expecting is Bitcoin is going to at least uh, test this 31k scenario so I will be uh, more bullish on Bitcoin if we test this 31k mark and b uh, keep bouncing back above it and we keep seeing a nice push above so if we are able to defend this 31k mark that i think is going to be very bullish for bitcoin and this might push us to actually around the 44k area that we are targeting for our next target so another bullish case scenario that we are tracking is obviously this uh, some kind of uptrend that we are uh, pretty nicely maintaining so we are just uh, trying to form this uptrend this is not like 100 percent accurate yet but that is what it looks like that this is this might be the uptrend that they are defending so in the worst case scenario i am seeing it dump down and touch down to this trend line so let's see if that happens uh and again another 30 30k and 31k levels are going to be our major support uh, area that they would be wanting to test uh, uh, if in case if we have a dump so in ideal case scenario we want to see a test of 31k to 30k area range and we do not want to see bitcoin drop down below 30 30k and we want to see a push back and support forming around this 30 to 31k area and keep bouncing above so that will be our very bullish case scenario and i think that will set up very nicely going towards the 44k mark so that was it about the bitcoin guys uh, uh, this is what i have been tracking for bitcoin so far 
If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.